you're in a good relationship now, and I'm so happy for you. Yes, yes. I met finally yeah. met a man who loves me the way I deserve to be loved. Yeah. But it was a process. I had to heal. Yes. I had a lot of healing. It takes a lot of time, long time. Yeah, it did because I it had to years. love. I had to love myself first. Yeah. I had to know well, what we I needed. We blame ourselves a lot of times for it. Oh, absolutely. And I had to realize wow. my value. You know, when yeah. women don't know their value, they'll accept whatever just to be with this man. Yes, But yes. when you know who you are, you can negotiate to be yeah. in a relationship that's going to be comfortable for you as well. It's two people it's, in the relationship. That's right. There's two people there. That's right. Two people. Exactly. Not just you. Exactly. <laughs> and hoping and, that they love you. <laughs> right. And most abusers aren't interested in being mutually equal. They're interested in their own self gratification. Yeah, they're, they're, most abusers are very um, trying to uh, always want to be in control. Absolutely. And want more that they can harm and hurt someone and, and belittle someone, the more that they feel they're in control. Absolutely. Uh, but, you know, abuse is, is generational, and yep. that's what happened in my family. Yep. Uh, we yep. were taught that that's how relationships are. Our relationships are, I'm sorry, you go through stuff. And we watched our aunts and uncles fight and throw things at each other and yep. scratch. And then the next day they're holding hand and in love again, like, you know, yeah. okay, everything's good. I guess so this is the way it's supposed to be, you think, as a child. Yeah, we were programmed to believe that this behavior was yeah. okay. It was when acceptable. It really wasn't. <laughs> no, God, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So we have to be careful what we expose our children to. We have to start yes. with our children and our grandchildren That's right. and letting them know that hurting someone or talking down to someone is not a way to show love no. and destroying someone else's property. You know, there are no. consequences to those actions. That's so we right. have to teach them little. So that they I always say that I think seven-year-olds <laughs> should have a class in how to treat each other, how to treat, you know, how to treat boys and girls should have a class on how to treat each other. Absolutely. Even at seven years old. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it seems like around seven, eight years old, they they start these uh, bullying stuff, mm -hmm. you know, young. Yeah, I think I think it's I think they need to be talked to young. Yes. They need they need they need the lessons. Smart. They need to learn. And if they're not getting it at home, yep. it should happen at school. It should happen in school. But boy, boy you try yeah. to talk to them at school, and they're like, oh, wow, don't talk about my that to my kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> but Boy Scouts, I think sports, I think part of being uh, yep. in an organized sport. I think they that's wonderful. Respect and I, consideration for the community. That's the best thing they could get in is sports. Absolutely. And I think they should teach them. But they don't, you know, they don't teach them that. They teach them to be aggressive. They teach them yeah. to go for it. That's so, true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of things need to change in our country, That's in our true. community, in our society. That's true, honey. Yeah. You're right. What are some of your programs? Um, we do education and training for, again, t again, teen dating violence awareness. Oh, good. Domestic violence awareness. Okay. Dating violence awareness for adults. Oh, men and good. women. Oh, good. On a date, how to be safe. Good. We do workplace domestic violence awareness and when the violence follows you to church. Wow, you know? really? Good. Do you think there's help for abused, uh, for, for, for men who are being abused? Yes, there are programs similar okay. to programs that are available for women who are in abusive relationships because there is more and more of, uh, we're getting reports of men being the victim. Right. And we tell men not to be ashamed if you're not a beating your wife, because we always know that women are not gonna be stronger than men. No. So he's not hitting you because he can't. He's not hitting you because he doesn't wanna hurt you. So there didn't used to be a place where these guys would go and they would call, they would give them women's shelters. But now there are organizations for men who are being battered and, um, if you go to our website, it is listed on our okay. website. I put my glasses on to see it. It, okay. it. One of the places is Stop Abuse for Everyone Safe. And uh, Heart to Heart is where men can go to get help. And um, a domestic violence helpline for men and women, one eight 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 seven helpline But all of those are on our website. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful yes. then. So there are, there is some place that men can go who are being abused. And then if there's a man who thinks he wants to save his family, who believes he can change, 
there's an organization or program called BIP, and it, it uh, started actually in Duluth, uh, Battering Intervention and Prevention. Really? BIP, yes. They BIP. did all the research, in the, and that's what they use. The Duluth model is what they use to counsel these men to change the way they think about their behavior and take responsibility. So if a man really wants to change, he really wants to save his family, he can voluntarily enter a BIP program. They're usually court-ordered. Is it B-I-F-F? B-I-P-P, BIP. Oh, BIP. Battering B -I -P -P. Intervention Battering. and Prevention. Say it again. Battering Intervention and Prevention. BIP program. BIP and prevention, okay. Yeah, wow. and most shelters have a BIP program. Most of the larger shelters will have BIP. You can call police victim services and they can tell you where BIP is. So, yeah, yeah, there yeah, is yeah. help for men who batter and there is help for men who are being abused. What, what are some of the important facts a victim of domestic abuse should know before she tries to leave her abuser? She has to know that chances could be that he's not going to let her leave easily. So she has to develop a plan for safety or a safety plan, if you will. And we always recommend that she stash a little money, mm -hmm. that she packs a bag of important things, uh, divorce papers, medical papers, uh, extra medication for her children if they are sick, and pack a bag and leave it at a trusted friend's house so that if she has to walk out or if she, the opportunity for her to leave uh, comes about, she can just walk away and not worry about trying to pack some things. She should always tell someone. Mm -hmm. Do not try to keep it a secret and work this thing out on your own because chances are you won't be able to. No. So always tell someone when you are going through this. And, and another reason to tell someone is if something happens to you, people know, know where to look. And if at one point you're calling a friend or family member in the middle, in the middle of the night and saying, I'm on the corner, can you come and pick me up? You know, they're not you're in not shock. Gonna... Why? What, what are you doing? Because you already so it's told them. it's always good to tell someone. And it's always, always a good thing not to tell your partner everything you're planning to do. Oh, my God, no. Don't let him know, okay, well, I'm so upset with you. I'm leaving you tomorrow. Oh, no, no. We do not want to share that with him. Get a prepaid cell phone. Leave your cell phone. Throw it in the trash because he is going to call you and try to contact you when oh. you leave him. So have a prepaid cell phone and don't let him get the number. And don't think that he is going to be sorry once you left and want to change and he's going to be okay. Because when you go back, it's probably going to be a lot worse he than He might world. go back and he might, he, after he uh, makes up with you, he might kill yes. you. Absolutely. And that's a real possibility that women don't want to accept about the men they care about. That's but it is a very real possibility. That's so right. I tell women, always oh, tell someone, talk to victim services. If you call a shelter, you don't have to commit. Even if you call police, you don't have to no, commit. No. But they will tell you what your options are. And they will tell you what your rights are. If you have child custody issues or divorce, they will tell you free of charge what your options are so you can make an informed decision. We didn't talk, let's talk about the misconception. Yeah, so tell we me about the touched misconception. touched on it a little bit in the beginning yeah. that people think that women who are in violent relationships are there because they want to be there. That yeah. is not true. Women are there because they either have no money, they have no place to go, right. they are afraid because he's threatened to kill her or their children if he she tries to leave. She doesn't know how to access the resources that are available to her for her to leave. So there are many reasons why a woman stays in a relationship that is violent and potentially dangerous. It's not yep. because she wants to be there. It is because there is some factor that is preventing her from leaving. And we have to, again, in order to get our community to look at not only this crime differently, we have to get them to look at the victims differently and stop re-victimizing the victim by saying she wants it. She's yeah. there because... She chooses to be there. No one wants to be abused. No, no. one wants to be beaten and hurt and no, humiliated. Buddy. No one wants that. So we have to get our community to look at these women differently. And look at... Domestic violence is a crime. It doesn't matter if it's your husband or your boyfriend... It's a crime. It is a and crime. And again, we don't look at it for the crime that it is. It's a severe crime. Yes, it's a crime. And our community doesn't consider it a crime because it's family, because it's personal. The man who killed my sister, he beat her brutally. She was very bruised and beaten and oh. shot in the head. And he was a police officer. Oh. He told the court that he didn't mean to kill her, that oh. it was an accident. 
Now, if this same man had gotten into a bar fight yeah. and beat a civilian that brutally and then shot him, he probably would have gotten life in prison. Well, he would have. It was his mother, the mother of his children and his wife. He received 18 months, second degree involuntary manslaughter. He did 12 of those 18 months. Oh, dear God. We, You're kidding. I, I wish I was. Oh, that makes me sick. But that's the way our community views this crime. So he could have done the same thing to a stranger and went to prison, but because it was his wife and the mother of his children, it was an accident. Oh my God, no. Yes, I didn't mean he, to he kill He pulled her. it off. He got off. And, he and she was so he was badly cop. beaten up. You can see that she had been in a fight. He knew what to say. He knew what to do. He had, they had a great lawyer, but the but the, the laws were not on her side. They were not on our no, side. No, they're not. Exactly. I agree. So we have raising awareness makes people look at this crime differently because it's a crime. It's murder. It's not not murder because it happened at the hands of your boyfriend or the father of your children. It's still murder. It's murder. Exactly. And we have to get our society to stop looking at it as a family issue. They had Domestic a fight. Violence. It was a, uh, what do they call it? A, a lover's spat. No, oh, there was yeah, no right. love in that. That's so <laughs> sickening. No that. <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah. So we, we have to raise awareness. We have to get people looking at this thing as what it is. Yes, it's we do. Murder. All right, and here he you. needs to go and be put to death himself. Well, yeah, because he beat her. I think a life for a life. <clears throat> well, again, you know, he beat her. He didn't fall on her. You know, he didn't chase her and she ran and fell down the stairs. No. He beat, he her, beat her up. And, 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 then shot and her. in my opinion, he couldn't beat her to death. So he shot her. Oh, jeez. And, it, you know, the, the, the condition of her body tells you that she was very severely beaten. Oh, So dear it God. just looks as if he couldn't beat her to death, so he shot her. But he said it was an accident and he got away with it. He had a conniving lawyer. Oh, he did. These he did. lawyers uh, take on these cases, uh, knowing that if they say the right things, they're gonna they're gonna get out of it. Right. But if a woman kills her husband, oh. the prisons are full of women who kill their husbands in self defense. Yep. Get twenty five to life. <laughs> yeah. Go figure. <laughs> they throw them in there and throw away the key. Yeah. How do you <laughs> figure that? Yeah. We've got a lot. To, we got a lot of work to do, Jane. Yeah, we do, honey. And I'm gonna keep on working at it, and you Me keep too. on working at it too, on your oh, side. Oh, I, I certainly am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, darling. <laughs> All right, Jane. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, sweetie. Yes, I'm gonna just say that this was a wonderful, wonderful afternoon, sharing this with this lovely lady, and uh, she's from Texas, and and I tell you, it was just a. She's a delight. She has achieved so much, working so hard to make women aware that this is going on and this domestic violence in our country is, is, is really gone far too far without the uh, law enforcement starting to change a few of these laws so that we can put them in, in where they belong in prison for longer, at least life. <laughs> anyway, I love you. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you soon. Those fingers in my head That sly come hither stare That strips my conscience bare It's witchcraft